Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, Grace and Glory Homeschooling. My name is Michaela and I'm a homeschooling mom of 13 years. Today I am excited to do a planner video to share about two awesome new planners that have come out for the 2020-2021 school year. I did a planner video a few years back and a lot of people said it was helpful. So I'm going to share today about these two new ones. First is a simple plan from Mardell. Let's go this way. Um, and this is a specific homeschool planner. And then the Recollections Academic Teacher Planner from Michaels. Both of these are spiral thick planners for you to put all of your kids into one. Um, this would be for mom to keep as she's homeschooling and then um, she would give out the assignments. I have done it in the past where I have given my older kids their own planner and I've kept one for my younger one and I'm at the point now where I'm just going to condense everyone all into one um, to try and save time. So let's jump in to the first planner, which is a simple plan by Mardell. This one, um, we don't have a Mardell store by us. Maybe you do if you live um, like in Texas. Um, but so I had to buy it online. It was on sale for $23. By the time I added shipping, it was not cheap, but um, I was excited. I've been looking at this for a few years and they change the design every year and it always looks different and there's different colors and different patterns and everything every year. And when it arrived, I was actually a little bit bummed um, because there's a lot of gray and white in this one. And I didn't realize how much gray was in it until it arrived. So I'm not totally sure if I'm going to use it or not. Uh, maybe you can help me decide down in the comments at the end of this video if you think this is gonna be a winner over the other one. But it is really pretty. It is um, a Christian binder. It is um, got faith-based scriptures all throughout from the Bible, and it is specifically for homeschool families. So um, a little bit pricey, but um, the cover is really nice. It's a nice thick cover, and in the front is a glossy folder. And then you will see that these covers are all glossy and they start with scriptures and they have scripture on the back and the front. Uh, the first welcome page is cool. It shows you what's included and what's not. So this is um, a way to simplify for homeschooling, but this is not like your all family chores, laundry, <laughs> cooking. It's not like your everything planner. This is just for homeschooling specific. So it's gonna have student plans and um, student records and reading lists and anything that has to pertain to homeschooling, but not necessarily as pertaining to your home and family in general, if that makes sense. Um, in the beginning, it does have a whole section of sample pages, which is really cool. I haven't seen that in a lot of planners, but this one does. So it shows you if you have, this one can hold for up to six kids. So if you're planning for six kids, it gives you ideas for how you can use this planner the way that they intended it um, with different ideas. And so if you're a first time homeschooler, I think this would be really helpful because um, it would show you exactly what you need. Sometimes uh, newbies don't know where to start. So um, this is really good. Um, the planning pages at the beginning give a full overview of the year and all the main holidays for this year and next year, which is nice. Um, there is a schedule if you want to create a student schedule. There um, are quite a few sheets called yearly overview sheets. I'll hold it up a little closer. It shows first quarter, second quarter, third and fourth quarter. So maybe if you wanna take this and um, make all of your annual plans, like, okay, in the first quarter, we want to read this book this week and this book by week four. And you wanna plan out exactly what you're reading for the whole year. You could put it all in here. Um, in the past, I've always done my annual plans on my computer, like using Word or Excel. Um, and then I use my homeschool planner for monthly, weekly, and daily plans. 
But with this one, you could put everything um, all in there because there's lots and lots of extra sheets um, to do lots of planning in the front. I'd say, I mean, even more than six kids. I'm not sure, I'm not gonna count them, but there's a lot of pages. Um, this one starts in July of 2020 and goes to June of 2021. So if you're a year-round homeschooler, um, that would work for you. At the very beginning of each month, the overview shows things to accomplish and special activities, uh, websites you wanna remember, a reading list, prayer requests, and supplies needed. So you can write all that down at the beginning of your month. And then it gets into the planner pages. And so there's enough boxes for six kids each subject. It is dated at the top, so it's very specific to just this school year. Um, but you can write each subject that you want. There are one, two, three, four, five, six subjects. Um, the biggest uh, downfall that I see is there's so much gray. So I just don't know if pencil is going to work really well. Um, if you're the type that would want to use colored pens and maybe use a different color for each student. So you could write your firstborn in blue and your secondborn in green, thirdborn in pink, you know, whatever. If you want to write with colored pens, it's going to show up really well and um, it's not cluttered. So it's very simple to see, but I'm just not sure. I've um, been writing in pencil and um, I don't know if that's really going to show up. Um, the pages are thick, so I don't think that the pen will bleed through, but I don't know. I'm just not sure of that. So the scriptures are really pretty and everything, um, all of the different tabs, they're glossy. So it's easy um, to find them. And then at the very back, there's the student records area. If you want to keep all of, um, like if you want to keep your attendance, you can do an easy check mark of attendance and then copy it onto your formal documents uh, that you keep for the state. Um, there's extras like a grading chart. So it shows um, the number of problems, the number of incorrect answers and what the percentage would be. So if you have a high schooler and you're having to figure out grades, you could do it in the planner instead of having to use a website for that. Um, there is a suggested reading list in the back by grade. So maybe you're a brand new homeschooler and you're not sure which books to read at which level. Um, it gives you some ideas. So that's really cool. They're all like classic books. Um, there is also the way to salvation. Maybe you are going to lead your child into accepting Jesus for the first time. So this is really cool. Um, it takes you through step by step on how to um, accept Jesus as your savior. There's also 12 scriptures to memorize. So you can memorize one a month with the family. If you want to work on like copy work, uh, dictation, scripture memory, you can use that all right in here. There's uh, multiple sheets called extracurricular activity. So this kind of looks like if you're involved in a co-op or a wild and free group, um, something like that. It's like your, um, your group leader, their phone number, their email address. Uh, maybe if you're in classical conversations, you could write down all the different families information and have that all right here. And then it ends the planner with just blank note pages and another folder at the back. So it is really pretty. It is really nicely done. I'm just not sure if I want to use it because of the gray. Um, on the other hand, the recollections planner is bright and pretty and colorful, very watercolor. Um, all it takes is all you've got. And that is very true for homeschooling. Um, it also starts out with a thick cover. It's a hard plastic and um, they have a clear pouch so you could have storage in there. This is the 12 month teacher planner. So you can tell it's a little bit more traditional. They also have thick, glossy colored tabs. And this is also a vertical um, planner. Something that this one has that the other one doesn't, it has many pages of planner stickers. So all kinds of goodies if you want to use them, if you like to use stickers. I always like to use stickers in my planners. Um, it also has an area in the front for traditional school students. You could tear it out 
um, if you're a homeschooler, but there's um, your student list, your classroom, um, seating chart, all that. Um, there is a folder here as well, another thick, glossy, double-sided folder. So in that respect, both of these planners are the same. There's an absent list, so you probably wouldn't use that either. Um, the year plan at the beginning is called a year at a glance. And so it just is um, a colorful way to write down anything that you want for the months, but it's not specific. So if you wanna write you know, field trips, birthdays, whatever you can think of, um, it's gonna be there, but there's no prompts. There's no examples. It's just kind of whatever you want to do. Um, there are some blank notebook pages, quite a few, just for keeping your notes um, at the beginning of the year. So if you want to make an overall plan, there's plenty of pages, enough for you to have like a front and back for each child if you have multiple children, um, but there's nothing specific. Like there's no quarter divisions or anything like that. This one starts in August of 2020 and goes to... July of 2021. <laughs> so this one starts a little bit later and goes a little bit longer. If you're a year round schooler, that might make a difference for you. Um, this is the overview page at the beginning of each month. So you will see like August, it says there's objectives, important dates, things to do and things to remember. And then you can write a quote of the month. Um, so there's no um, scriptures or anything in this one if you're a non-religious family. There is a month overview page, just very simple and basic, and then it gets into the planner pages. It is specifically dated just for this school year. Um, it is also vertical. I like that because I like to do just what I'm doing now. I like to fold it over and see everything for the day in one page. If you pick a horizontal planner, you have to open it all the way up to go across for one whole day. I don't like that. I like to just have it one day down. This is the same as a simple plan to where it has six subjects, um, but because of the white and the different colors, I think pencil would show up a lot better. Um, I would also dare to say that these pages are a little bit thicker. Um, so if you do wanna use markers, I think you could use markers and they wouldn't bleed through. There's no subject specific categories in this one either. So you can see here where it says subject and period, it's all just left blank um, for you to fill in whatever subjects you're studying. Um, and then in the very back, there's assignment checklists. So if you have specific assignments that you want to give your kids and have them check it off, you could use that. So this one has a lot less. It's, um, it's actually lighter too, so it's not as heavy, but this is still um, a larger size. It is nine by 11 and a half. Um, so it's still a pretty good size planner. Um, putting them side by side, you can see they look pretty comparable, but this one's actually much heavier. So I don't know, I haven't decided which one I'm going to use yet. Please help me decide. Put in the comments down below which one you were drawn to and why. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks and I'll see you again in the next video.